Hello there, my fellow minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee, and welcome to Legacy Studio, the mothership of technology. We love talking tech here, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about clean energy. What are we doing with some other options on clean energy? Before we start, humongous thanks to my legacy historians, Tony Allen, to Tony Allen, Tony Allen, and Sean Hammond, and my Dorca historians and early access historians. Everyone who supports my channel by hitting that join button and supporting at those different tiers deeply appreciate them for helping me make the content that I make every single day. All right, folks. We got some interesting news coming out here out of a Swedish startup, Minnesota. Uh, Minis Ministo <laughs> wants to install hundreds of these kites in the ocean and across the world. The world's biggest tidal energy kite could single handedly power a small town. Here's some of the uh, details on this story. Now, people have been harnessing tidal energy uh, for milling grain for more than a thousand years. As you'd imagine, though, today's con uh, contraptions for tapping this 24-7 power source are a little more sophisticated than they used to be. One of the most eye-catching designs to emerge in recent years is a giant metal kite which swims underwater against the current, turning its rotor and generating electricity. Power is then sent to the grid via a subsea cable, which also acts as the kite's tether. Now, the biggest of these kites ever built, known as Dragon 12, is about to be installed off the Faroe Islands. Uh, with a wingspan, you guessed it, 12 meters, the Dragon is expected to generate 1.2 million watts, 1.2 MW, I'm assuming that's million watts, I don't know, of clean electricity once operational, enough to power around 1,000 homes. The kite is now being shipped from Sweden to the Faroe Islands for installation. This is very exciting. This is interesting stuff. I, I am very curious about this. Um, the kite was first designed by car maker Saab um, and then commercialized in 2007 by Swedish startup Ministo. Uh, w uh, which has been refining the technology ever since. With more than 40 MN of funding uh, from European Regional Development uh, Fund, Minesto claims to be the EU's largest investment in marine energy to date. Now, despite offering huge potential for renewable energy uh, generation, tidal st uh, stream technology is still largely underutilized. This is partially because uh, harnessing uh, the ebb and flow of the ocean has historically involved the construction of expensive uh, barges or stream uh, in-stream turbines, uh, essentially wind turbines tethered to the seabed that can have adverse impacts on the ocean life. Now, what differentiates Minesto's technology, uh, says its creators, is that it's relatively small, modular, and scalable. Uh, similarly to uh, how a kite travels through the air, the tidal turbine moves in a figure of eight motion through the water several times faster than the actual speed of the flowing water. Uh, basically, this means it can punch far above its weight in terms of electricity generation. Um, and now, going forward, Minesto, along with a local energy utility, SEV, aims to build 120 uh, MW, I'm going to say million watts, I don't know, of tidal kite ex uh, capacity in the Faroe Islands. This array, which would be made up of around 100 individual kites, could supposedly uh, could supply 40% of the archipelago's electricity consumption. Holy smokes, that story out of the next web uh, dot com. I am very intrigued by this kind of technology. Uh, how are they going to... If it's not tethered to the ocean, how it, where is how is it tethered? Is it tethered to the inland? But how does that, I'm very curious how this could work. Very, very interesting. And it's really, really amazing to me how difficult it is for these tech companies to get moving. I mean, if you think about it, they say that they started this back in 2007, and here they are now in 2023, finally getting to put this off the Faroe Islands to actually put it to test. I mean, that's unfortunate. Wow, think about how much time and investment went into this. They got a lot of money and time to make up for it, probably. So good luck on that, and I wish them all the best, because, yes, we are always looking for more ways to get more electricity, and, and we need it, and especially if... Especially if you're looking at ways to get your electric cars taken care of and things like that. Now, of course, uh, if energy companies decide to jump on this and be like, yeah, we're going to own a bunch of those, then they're going to start charging us for that electricity as well, and we're still going to be paying dues in one way or another. So uh, I personally love the idea of solar power because then at a certain point in time, the power companies pay us. 
Uh, I'd love to do that to my house if if uh, if my house and the area I live in worked well for that. I don't think it really does. Um, you don't see much solar pa solar power out here in Montana, at least in the neck of the woods that I live in. But when it comes down to it, I mean that's a really neat technology and a really neat movement forward. Um, when it comes to that, uh, as long as you can put up with the extreme hail that we get here sometimes that uh, does lovely damage to our cars. Yeah. And also the extreme high winds that we get on random occasion as well. That can spoil some things, too. So, yes, I'm looking forward to seeing what Monesto does in the future with that technology. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. What are some of the favorite energy resources that you're seeing that you like? And, uh, of course, if you talk to anyone out here in Montana, they'll tell you that a good, a good old engine will probably defeat uh, electric cars uh, for a long time to come when it comes to living out here uh, in rural Montana. If you have any thoughts or opinions, leave them down below. Don't be afraid to have a little chat about it down in the description, in the in the comment box. That's going to do it for me in this one. If you do enjoy this content, hit that like button, subscribe, and consider joining and supporting all the people that are supporting the channel and the kind of stuff that we're bringing here on the channel. Thank you. See you next time.